In a series of experiments carried out between 1908 and 1917, R.A. Millikan succeeded in measuring the charge of the electron with great precision. In his experiment, a fine mist of oil was sprayed into the upper chamber with an atomizer. Some of the tiny oil droplets fell through the hole in the upper floor, and Millikan was able to determine the mass of an oil drop from its terminal velocity. Next, Millikan used an X-ray source to ionize gas molecules in the chamber. Electrons from this ionization process adhered to the oil droplets. The oil droplets now carry a negative charge. The negatively charged oil droplets can be halted by adjusting the voltage across the two plates. As the voltage across the plates is increased, the velocity of the oil drops slows. As the voltage is increased further, some drops will begin to move upward toward the positive plate. If the voltage is set just right, an oil drop can be suspended. When an oil drop is suspended, its weight, mass times acceleration due to gravity, is exactly counterbalanced by the electric force applied. The electric force applied equals the applied electric field, E, times the charge on the drop, Q. Since the mass of the oil drop, the acceleration due to gravity, and the applied electric field are known, Millikan could solve for Q, which is the charge on the drop. Millikan found that droplets had different charges, but each was a whole number multiple of a smaller charge, equal to negative 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. Millikan concluded that this was the fundamental unit of charge, the charge of an electron. From the charge of an electron and the charge-to-mass ratio of an electron determined by Thomson using a cathode ray tube, Millikan was able to calculate the mass of an electron. The mass of an electron, 9.10 times 10 to the negative 28th grams, is an exceedingly small mass.